everybody honestly like I had a great time in the in the last run or the last video like look at these teams this one was we we sold out I'll be honest but the double bu buffalo back to tank and the the squirrel seal tabby cat I can't believe the tabby cat carried so hard in the mid game man but we're, we're going back to free to play here so it's possible that the our, our long nightmare of uh, having fun is nearly over I'll take one of the I, I'll be honest with you I've been falling a little bit out of love with the otter but one thing I love for the otter is getting the stats and almost guaranteeing you're going to go up against a 2-1 ant in the first position you get an incredibly favorable trade um be the hot pants like let's see here's where's my ant where's my ant thank you <laughs> I think we'd probably still lose we draw but still if both mosquitoes maybe it hit the, I don't know maybe now, the problem with the second otter is that you have to combine first. But I think we could do this, and then no matter what it hits, I'm happy. Kind of spreading it out. We roll here, because we don't want a pig. If we have the option of anything but a pig, we're going to be happier. Give me this. I don't love this squad necessarily. But you got to remember, our stats are, like, well above average. What a shot, too. Um, because of the fact that we got two one ones added from our Otter. Even though we're missing a unit, it's not that bad. Also, we're so close to leveling up. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This is not normal. But a Scampy in this situation doesn't seem that bad because we're going to be selling some stuff. First, we have to see what our level up is. Then we're probably going to sell a Cricket. Then we're going to put our mosquito up at the front. We're going to stick a, uh, a kangaroo behind you. And unless you get sniped by like a level two, eh, that's not even really how it goes anymore. Well, 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 maybe we'll be not committing to a fish, selling otter and fish next turn, and putting a dodo behind this kangaroo. I didn't freeze the dodos. <laughs> you believed me too. That's the sad part. I was just making a joke about how, like, wouldn't it be funny if that's what I chose to do? <laughs> anyway, we not, we won nevertheless, so... Hey, look at that! Now we're gonna level up our otter. That's kind of cool. So what, that means our fish is likely to get sold. You know what? You could fit a buy-sell meta into this at this point. So we're selling the fish. We're buying the dog. Then we're selling the otter. Then we're buying a pig. Then we're selling the pig. I know what you're going to say. Shrimp scampi meta never works. You know what I'm going to say. True, but this time's different. Let's not lie to one another about what's happening here. This is the, <laughs> this is the methodology we adhere to every time. Next thing we need is garlic on whatever unit is going to stay in front of the kangaroo, which for now is the mosquito. That meat has just is blown us out two times, man. It's so sad. That's fine. I, I think we've we've now we lost that run that that round, but we have a strategy, and that's more valuable than a win sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Now, are we going to sell a mosquito to really kickstart this? I think no, not yet. What we are going to do is buy, combine, buy, sell. We have seven gold. Buy? This is a little strange. I hope you'll humor me. <laughs> Just to be honest, I don't think we can fit a swan. Because what are we going to sell in or what's what space are we going to have open as a sellable? I don't think there is one. So I, I'm not always a believer in the double kangaroo strategy is going to work gangbusters here, though. OK, so nothing of value was lost. We're, we're sticking to our strategy. I think we like it. Um, I know we could. Pill this and then sell two things, but what do we sell in order to get the double sell going? You know, do you sell your mosquito? I don't think we can do it. So I think we just buy this, pill it, there's another summon, sell it, get the trigger, 
We could buy you and get ready to sell you later. You need garlic. I know I just gave you a B, but you really need the garlic so you can survive first position meat. I still like this. I know that the, the positioning might look a little wonky. I still like this. At some point, we got to decide the shrimp has gone too far. The kangaroo's not going anywhere. We did not survive first position meat. <laughs> Hold on, though. Hold on. Uh, we're screwed. Oh, but not by much. We, we had a lot of, like, very close arithmetic there that didn't go in our favor. I can live with that. Okay, get sold. Honestly, I think we have to think about, for now, maybe starting to buff this hippo and then being able to sell the mosquito instead. Life comes at you fast. Never forget that. Then I actually think... But if we're, are we really going to try to make a swan work? I don't think so. A deer could, could smack here. Let's try. Honestly, we could pill you next turn, get an extra summon, sell it, get an extra sell trigger. It might look like we haven't stayed committed to an archetype here, but I would honestly disagree with you. We have stayed committed to an archetype. The archetype is shrimp dog kangaroo. The rest is just window dressing. Sell it. Buy it. This is kind of like what you have to do as well. You know, some people get all the luck in life. Just kidding. Um, some people get all the luck in life and have the capability to get a level two dog. Me, look, I get a lot of luck in this game, but dog and puppy seem to be like cursed for me, where whenever I get a dog or a puppy, that's the last time you're gonna see one of those for quite some time. We got a little lucky, <laughs> case in point, but I'll take it. This is also where I ask myself, have I accidentally rolled over 17 of the animal that I was looking to get? In which case, I would like to apologize. I mean, we could even use just like one more shrimp if we're going to stick with this idiotic strategy that is actually kind of working. I think at this point, straight up, you buy a monkey, you get ready to sell your shrimp. I don't respect them. We don't have any level twos. We can't roll a penguin. You know what? The, the shrimp lives to fight another day. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. What are we going to sell, though? We're not going to sell our kangaroo. I'll tell you that much. All right. This is a cursed round. Are we on lethal? We should be. We, we spent a lot of time floundering on this run. So we got to make a choice. Our, my, my choice is you've got to go. But we're going to try to find a way to get you really popping. And what would really do it is one more monkey. No more monkey, huh? I think if you have to take a Hail Mary, which is debatable, <laughs> but a rhino that goes up against a few scalers at the back that got left as stragglers can can do the trick. This is not going to work, though. We will we will lose this one. And honestly, we deserve to, but it always leaves a bad taste in my mouth when I get, like, an early dog. It feels like you got baited into taking the dog, and then right after that, you don't see another one for the rest of the game. You're like, come on. For the rest of the game? Sorry, we'll be the bare legs. Let me hydrate. Need some athletic juice. be honest with you, it's just water. Happy New Year. We draw these. Jludjorn. That's a hard one to say in English. Jludjorn. It reminds me of... Uh, I already know the answer to this question, but do you ever see the episode of 90 Day Fiance where Larissa says she moves in with a gamer um, and she's talking to the gamer's roommate and she's like, oh, I love to game. My favorite game is Bloodborne. Do you know it? And then the dude is like, no. Which is crazy to me. How could you be a, a gamer 
a self-professed gamer. Oh, I mean, like, come on, man. And not know what uh, Bloodborne is. But then it's very funny as well. Dude, I don't want any of this garbage. Are you are you having a joke at my expense? Um, she she gives what I and Larissa's just funny, like also kind of scary <laughs> sometimes, but but funny as well. Um, she gives what I would describe as possibly the worst description of Bloodborne that anybody has ever given in history. She says it's fun. You have to like build your character, which is technically true, but maybe would not be amongst the first words I would use when describing what Bloodborne's about. I don't think that necessarily gives you enough information. Let's put it that way. Dude, I'm, I'm all for a triple freeze here. I know how this looks. I mean, like, we basically have three animals that do almost nothing, but a level two flamingo starts to be a little bit more, a little scarier, honestly, for our opponents, I think. Um, and then this... Everything else on our squad is actually popping, so I'm not even sweating that in the slightest. Like, look at that. We just beat Cobalt Master. So we basically, our squad is going to be smaller because of the combinations here. So we got to figure out how we're going to run this. Um, are we really going to get close to a level 2 Dodo? And, like, it's not bad. I think I'll freeze a deer. Freeze this. We Freeze a pill. The pill is what I wanted to see the most, honestly. And then... I mean, I still think... I think this squad is like a mid-game superstar. It needs something to propel it into the late game. You, th though it may surprise you, one thing that will help propel it into the late game, legitimately, is Honey Badger, which just makes it very difficult to lose in the mid-game. You can certainly draw... You're going to think I lost it, but that game theory might not bear this out as a sensible decision. But we'll just prioritize buying some foods instead. You don't really need garlic because you're going to die. Let's give you some meat instead. Um, worst thing would be if we went up against another deer. This is actually pretty... Whoa, no, wait, there's another deer. It was just hiding. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, everything's completely fine, actually, because of the order of operations. <laughs> Honey Badger is, look, I'll, I'll own it, man, like, it's almost too good. Now, again, there's a case to be made, we might be inhibiting ourselves a little bit with the way that we're choosing to run this right now, but I honestly think it will pay for itself when we have a round which we lose, which could be this. Really, it really could be. In fact, I think it is. It is. Okay, now this is actually awesome. I'm going to get a little funky. I'm going to sell the dodo and keep the deer. The right play is honestly probably... You know what? I'm going to sell the cricket. Even though it's our most leveled unit. It's the right way to play it. I think. <laughs> Source, dude, just trust me. Admittedly, Source, dude, just trust me. Yes, not wrong. Um, then I'm gonna sell the level 2 snail. You've served your purpose. I'm gonna buy a monkey. Let's freeze a pair. Thought about a parrot, but you know what? I've been getting too weird with it. And then I'm like, what if you just... Speaking of getting weird, what if we just ran, like, a huge deer? What if that was my... part of my gamble here? What if I was the guy who played the big deer? Alright, so, so far so good. Um, we're not dead, right? We got a little... We got, we got a lot of juice left in the tank. Okay. Good. Juice me. Let's be real. Our dodo is doing absolutely nothing. Even though its stats are good. I think in this unique situation... <sighs> I'm going to keep the snails. <laughs> for this exact reason and this i think this is a good save as a just in case oh my god we're gonna get a level three flamingo and possibly a level three badger i i'm torn because i don't want to lose this one because we need room to pivot here because this run is very funny as we stand um what the heck oh never mind we're still popping we're still popping 
But I also wanted my level two snail to have a chance to, to flourish. But you know what? So be it. Get out of there. Yeah, yeah, get out of there. I bought it because I double clicked. You can see it on my face. I didn't know what I was doing. I was I was clicking apropos of nothing at all. I was I didn't know what was happening. I was in another world, man. Sure, give me some chocolate. I don't know. Maybe it'll make me feel better. What do we what is this squad, man? What is he what has he done? What is this? A center for ants? Holy cow, it's gonna actually win because the game is unfair when you have Honey Badger. <laughs> oh, man. All right, you take this. We, we love to see that. Honestly, I'd like my deer to get a little stronger if possible. Nothing here impresses me. I think we could use some garlic on the front. A steak or a melon would be superior, but, you know, we only have control over so much. Maybe our flamingo should be in front of our deer, at least. Um, my honey badger. They got their own honey badger. But I go first. <laughs> it's so... We actually... I, and I'm, I'm being 100% with you, okay? We do not deserve to win this run. Uh, and I'm being so sincere... Sure. Um, it's fine. It doesn't really matter what we buff that much. Oh, you know what? A one-up would kind of slap on you now. Now that I moved you back one. Um, we, we really don't deserve to be in the position we're in. Our honey badger has won us basically like four rounds on a technicality. Which is hilarious, by the way. This seems like a great run to have against a fly. I would like to apologize for when I said that, which is obviously not true, or not good enough. Alright, so now we've lost. Now you can give me my snails back. Or not, I guess. Okay. I hate it because it's pivoting more towards the meta side, but at some point, I think you gotta acknowledge, like, this is basically, like, one of our last shots here. It, I thought I was going to be playing a, a very typical game of Super Auto Pets here. I had no idea. Lucky me, by the way. I had no idea how wrong I was and, and how freaky we were about to get. Also, I am about to win somehow. That's a surprise. Late game Honey Badger came through in the clutch. We would certainly like a leveled up snake. Give it some melon armor just in case. That would be lovely. I don't know if we're going to 10. But if we do, the honey badger is getting the street named after it in its local municipality. Incredible skunk. You got to put some respect on that skunk. I think you got to put some respect on this kangaroo as well. I think we're going to absolutely lose. I, I can't imagine that that would not be the case here. But still, I had fun. Genuinely. All right. So we've been sitting in that like eight range. For a while. I don't mind a 3-3 mosquito. Wouldn't wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to, to kind of pop off, you know? To kind of like get to that next level. I don't like where we're at. Mm, let's be careful. I'll be the milky legs here. Um, I think that we made the right play. I, I have a, a penchant for making plays. Uh, and Oh my god, we won. Which is hilarious. I have a pension for making plays that look clever but are stupid. That one I legitimately thought was like the mathematical optimum way to have things set up. Was a, a big unit at the back that had a B surprise. And then you put your weak unit at the front because it kills their ants. It's just called game theory, sweetheart. We actually lose this one to the same uh, psychology that brought us the win last time. But this is the way the cookie crumbles, man. And then, we're off to the races. I will. And if you don't like it, honestly, Napoleon, if you don't like it, you can leave. I'll stop doing it when you stop laughing. So we want a honey badger. I guess we, there's no reason we couldn't have our mosquito up at the front now. What the heck? 227. 227. What the heck? 
That was a good play. How did, how did your shrimps get so strong, man? That's amazing. Sell me? Totally fine. Buy me? Buy me. No, thank you. I don't trust you, quite frankly. I simply don't trust you. I'm a newfound believer. First off, give me this, okay? But then freeze me one of these. We don't need another one yet. It, there's no benefit. We were kind of looking for a cupcake. We can buy a crab. It'll be a 3-7. But we could also turn it into like a 3-10 pretty quick. This horse is going to be a little scary. We're going to lose this round. I would like to apologize for lying to you. I, I underestimated how bad the horse can be when used improperly. No cupcakes still. Roll me once. Level three? We should. I just like a deer. I think we got to unfreeze this. I think we got to put garlic on you next turn. I think meat on your deer, if you're going to roll it for a bit, could also be a nice little enabler. This squad, it, it packs more of a punch than it looks like. The problem is it's a dead end. <laughs> we desperately need to figure out how the heck we're going to get uh, anything extra going on it because none of these units scale that well except maybe the honey badger. But we're on a, a pretty sick line right now. So take this. Take this. Don't mind that. Take this. Roll me. Nothing. Roll me. You could probably sell an otter and look to a giraffe instead as like something to buff the stats up. up, 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 up. We're gonna be okay. Um, something to buff the stats on on maybe our swan because our mosquito. It's kind of just a fool's errand, I think, to scale it. You know what we could also do is we could just start buying a can. I still think we'll do this. Giraffe. But cans, I could see them, man. I could see them working. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I apologize to our swan. We also probably... Oh, you can't dump your mosquito. Don't be a fool. Um, but I, I think this was the right play in order to... Like, this is the earliest bison you're ever going to see. And it's getting an extra 1-1 one, one every turn. Level 2 giraffe would slap, man. Because then we could also get... Uh... Wow, that's a problem. Um, never mind. It's totally fine yet again. We could also get uh, our mosquito getting some stats, is what I mean, if we got a next level giraffe. But I think that because we got rid of our swan, the next most important thing to do... Man, I wish a penguin had any purchase here. Uh... The next most important thing to do is just use our gold efficiently. And I think we honestly accomplished that fact with bells on right here. Now, here's the question. Would you rather scale? Oh, this is close. Never mind. Would you rather scale your deer or your mosquito? It's a tough question because the mosquito is obviously smarter. But what if it isn't? <laughs> An interesting thought, to be sure. So we're already on six wins. This is round nine. Um, this is normally where I start to think, what beats us? Like, what are, what are some squads that, that put us in our place? And I, I don't have a lot of answers, which is kind of funny, because this squad doesn't really seem that good, but it's doing great things. I think you sell the honey badger. Maybe this is how we get put in our place, but I think you commit completely to the scale. It, our deer has meat, you know, like it's an eight, a 13 7 with upside right now. Like you take this over a, uh, over a leopard any day of the darn week, man. Get owns. Get owns. Nice kangaroo. I don't think anything, like, I mean, I, what kills us genuinely, I think, is two things that scale. I'm not putting the one up on you yet. I, I like I like our current setup. You know what? Give me one of these. Most efficient thing for us, chocolate or bison. So I think it's worth the roll. I think it's worth the roll. In theory, something like a tiger deer. But you know what? 
We, we lose to two big units. Right now, we have one big unit. And it is big, like 29-28 garlic. That's big for the mid-game. But it's looking pretty juicy, quite frankly. That's win number nine. It's hard to imagine we don't get one more. I know that's like, you know, <laughs> the convenient timing. Maybe it'll be very funny if we do. But, I mean, we just... It just goes to show you, this squad is, like, not that impressive. If we got it on, like, turn nine, we would be like, we can't even run it. It's not, it's not even close to good enough. But where we're at right now, like, it's insane. Now, doesn't mean it can't get beaten, but... I'm a little... Got a little humbled there. I like that you're getting the stats, though. Snail, don't make me laugh. We're looking for a good food. Honestly, why don't you take one of these? We'll get a, a, a rare level 3 deer. I mean, it's already a 17... Well, actually, it's a 2019 deer with meat that's going to spit out a 10-10 bus. Next turn, it'll spit out a 15-15 bus. Man, it would have been nice if you were not so strong. <laughs> okay, now we're on lethal. And sure, I don't feel as confident as I used to. But you think you're going to... You think... Have you ever had a dream that you think that's going to stop me? I don't think so. We got to dump this mosquito yesterday, man, and put like a scorpion out there. Hold on, we can win this one. This is winnable. Look at this. They got nothing. I knew we had a 10 win in there. Added to the Hall of Fame. Honestly, it's not that weird. This is not a weird Hall of Fame addition. I'm just glad we got one, though. Look at that. I don't know where they are. Hold on. I'm looking for large deer. Oh, at the very bottom. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. Is another good episode? Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. See you.